Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another thrift store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you all came from the local thrift stores in my area. Didn't find a whole lot at two of the four stores that I go to, but sometimes less is more, as I always say. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thrift store that I went to, I spent only six bucks. This being the most expensive item at five dollars. It's an Indiana glass, iridescent, grapevine, and leaf patterned canister. I think it's Indiana glass, if I'm not mistaken. Carnival, iridescent, whatever you want to call it. And it does say chipped. The lid is perfectly fine. It's just the little bits in here. Like, there's a chip here or there. The rim has got some issues. But it's not really, like, noticeable. Like, if there was a big old chunk out of this, I wouldn't have bought it. But it's still in decent shape, and to pay only $5 was definitely a steal of a deal. I think I can probably, even with the slight damage, I can net probably about $30 for just that one canister. We will see. Now this item is not for sale, and when I'm, you'll understand what I'm saying in just a minute here. Um, it was only a dollar. It's an Indiana Glass Stars and Bars Fairyland Bottom. Now, I would like to offer this to you all. If you happen to have a shade for this fairy lamp, let me know and I will just send it to you. All you got to do is just email me your shipping information, send me your deets, and I will get this out to you, especially if you are a live sale seller. Fairy lamps are very popular, so I want you to be able to make as much money as possible, so please reach out to me if you happen to have the shade for this, and I will ship it to you free of charge. So I found this really interesting swan slash bird trinket box. I assume after looking at it that it's probably a cigarette case like that sat on a coffee table. Like you lift it up, the matches would be in there, or the lighter would be in there, and then the cigarettes would be there. It is marked on the bottom. In Chanta, California, B11, USA. It was $1.50. And I did do a quick look up on eBay and I didn't see it. But then again, it was just a very thorough, quick look. So, if I find out anything else about it, I'll let you know. This big old bird was $1.50. It wasn't marked. Or it isn't marked. But it does have a lot of paint loss to it. I was just grabbing stuff left and right, honestly. Because I was like, oh, live sale, live sale, live sale, live sale. And I was happy to pick this up. It probably won't go for too much. Maybe about like 7 or $8. And I, when I saw it at first, I was thinking of Shabby Chic, you know, farmhouse. Because I know that that's really in. And in my opinion, if I was going to do that style, I would want all vintage with a mixture of the newer stuff that you can get in retail stores, but more on the vintage side. I'm not really one to go out and get a lot of newer things at the big box stores. I like the older type stuff. But I thought this would be good for that. It does kind of have some fall colors to it, so maybe I will save it for a fall themed live sale. So I thought this was really interesting. It's a, what do you want to call it? Is this a goose or a swan? No, it's a swan. What am I thinking? It's a swan vase. You got three of them put together. It was a buck fifty. It says hand painted Japan on it. And I don't know if that's a maker's mark or just part of the design of the logo there. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe 40s. Because I think the timestamp for Japan markings kind of changed from, like, you know, the turn of the century up through the 50s and 60s with uh, ceramics, that is. But I thought that was interesting. And, I mean, nothing I've ever seen before. For $3.50, I picked up this really awesome vintage Brahma's flower sifter. And it looks to be in brand new condition. Like, nobody ever used it. I mean, look at the inside. That's really, really clean. Now, granted, it's got some age to it, but I do love apples. I don't know if I've ever told you all that, but that is my favorite fruit. Apples are delicious. And I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this. More than likely, I will, because I love the apples on it. 
Now, if there were cherries, I would more than likely be sending them to Comfy Cozy Living because she loves her cherries. And I think she, her kitchen is 40s themed, if I'm not mistaken. Like her whole house is boho and a bit of mid-century, but she her kitchen is specifically the 1940s with cherries and like reds and whites and everything. Which is cool, I like that. Because it almost gives it like an old school diner feel. So that was a good pickup. For only $2.50, I picked up another one of those Maddox of California Swan TV lamps. This one has more of my colors to it. It's got the hints of blue at the bottom. It is a little dirty, so I'm going to have to clean it up. And it is not broken, because I damaged the other one a few times. I had to re-glue the head back on, but that's okay. So I will either be listing this one or saving it for a live sale. Not exactly sure what I'll be doing with it just yet. For only a dollar, I picked up this cute little doll baby here. I like that somebody put a like hand crocheted beanie on her. Now this is from 1969. It was made by the Shindana Toys a Division of Operation. Why am I reading that? Shindana Toys. It's a DB doll from 1969. I think I have another one of these downstairs. And she's wearing a lace bonnet and a bathing suit. She's got like a floral, like very like 1960s, 1970s bikini bottom. I think that one might be like all plastic. Like this one's stuffed. I didn't do a lot of research on it, but I definitely knew she was vintage just by the look of her. And I I think she's cool. I mean, the leopard print is a little much for me, but I still think she's very fun. And to find her in the condition she's in, I mean, usually when you find old dolls, they, they're played with and sometimes their paint's coming off. But I think she was definitely worth picking up for a buck. Now, I don't really dive much into the collector's plates, but when I saw this one for $1.50, I did have to grab it. It's a World Copenhagen, Denmark, Little Mermaid, Hans Christian Andersen collector's plate. It is from 1977, and uh, yeah, it was just one of those things where I had to have it. <laughs> More than likely... I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing with it yet. I might keep it. I might sell it at a sale because I don't have very many summer themed goods. So I might sell this along with that other mermaid at that sale. So we will see what happens. So here's what the back looks like. It says Royal Copenhagen, Denmark, 4679 with some waves and then V2. So it was definitely a bird day at the thrift store. And I found this swan pen holder, and it was a buck fifty. It's kind of all black. It almost looks brown on camera, but it is black. No markings on it, but I think that will do really, really well if it doesn't sell online. Uh, do well at a live sale if it doesn't do well online, is what I should have said. So I did get this, and it's it's not terribly, terribly old. It was a dollar fifty. It's a Lennox piece. It's one of their Opal Innocence jewelry boxes. Someone had it for two bucks and they couldn't sell it, so they donated it. And I'm almost positive that it has a small little crack in it. Where is it? Right here. Like on the corner, like right there. Because when I did the flick test, it doesn't sound like the lid. So like here, listen to this. But when you do that to the lid, it doesn't have that noise. It's not really noticeable. And as you can see, the inside is quite dirty. I'm not sure if I can do anything about that. So it'll be sold as is. However, the crack is not really noticeable unless you look at, at it up close. And people are asking a lot for these online. So I will definitely probably be asking upwards of about 35 to 40, despite that little issue. And I will note it, of course. I'm not a dishonest seller. I try to describe things as best I can, and I want to make sure my buyers are completely satisfied with their purchases from me. 
So, this was a complete and utter mistake. The tail's broken off and it was repaired. I don't know if this is California Pottery, or if it's Brush McCoy, if it's Royal Copley, Shawnee. Maybe I'll try selling it. I think it might look good in a fall vignette. And it won't be much. It'll be like five bucks. Well, we will see what happens. And if not, I don't mind having to redonate it because it was I didn't see the damage before until I unwrapped it and looked at it. I got another planter, and again, I didn't notice the damage on it until un after I unwrapped it. It is Italian, kind of like a Capodimonte styled look. This is the damage that's right here. But the other flowers seem to be in good shape. Now this definitely screams like chic, like 1960s kind of a thing. But I definitely think this would look good in farmhouse decor in the spring and the summer. And it's it's not bisky, but it's it's like smoother, like I don't know how to describe it. It's not like shiny, shiny glaze, but it's it's glazed over. Again, there is the Made in Italy mark. So that'll probably make it to a fall themed sale. I did get another Scotty dog planter for $1.50. This one is probably Royal Copley, judging by those lines, or American Bisque. I never know anymore, but that's just a best guess. Now this is definitely gonna make it to a summer themed sale with all of the fish and everything. This was 75 cents. Art glass, fish paperweight. I don't think it's terribly, terribly old, but it is fun. And these I can usually get about eight bucks for. So to pay 75 cents, turn it into eight bucks. I'd say that's a pretty good return on investment. Now I'm amazed that this little piece right here isn't chipped or broken off. I mean, I feel it and it feels smooth and then I feel a rough spot and then I'm like, oh, is that a chip or what is it? But it doesn't feel like it. I know somebody's gonna love this. Now these were a really good pickup. These were, what is that, $1.50 and 75 cents? $2 and 25 cents, right? Yep, because $1.50 and 50 is $2 and then add another 25 cents, two twenty-five. They are left in floral swan. This is left in China, hand painted. Now, as you can see, some of the flowers are a little messed up. This one was repaired right here, but it's still in overall good condition. If I had to say a date, I'd say the 1960s. This one has got the flowers on it. One of the petals is broken off. But again, these still look like they do pretty well. I may save them for a spring theme sale, or if they sell well on eBay, I will probably list them together. Now this, I'm not exactly sure how old it is. It's a whale scrubby holder. I will look it up, and if it happens to be something, it'll go on eBay, of course. If not, I will go ahead and sell it to you all at a sale. So for a dollar, and let me adjust the screen here, I got this plastic West Clocks alarm clock. That's not the cool thing about it. It does glow under the black light, which I wasn't expecting at all. Because it looked newer, so I was like, there's no way. But it does. And it was only a dollar, so I couldn't say no to that, because it is my color. And my favorite piece from this haul is... This really awesome 1950s or mid-century modern sweet tooth molar planter. Never seen one before, but I liked the font of the lettering on there. And I do have a sweet tooth, so that's very fitting to me. No markings to say who made it. I wonder if at one point it had a foil label on it and it just rubbed off over time. Paid 75 cents, and they seem to do pretty well online, if we check here. I screenshotted my research. So yeah, I mean, of course, I keep the most expensive and valuable item from this haul. 
but that's perfectly okay. I love it, and I have a sweet tooth, so it fits me perfectly. Now, there is... It does look like crazing, or not crazing. It looks like a crack, but when you give it the test, it seems to be fine. It's fine. It's uh, cracked inside the glaze. It's not like an actual... Or maybe it is, because I can feel part of it on my when I dig my nail in there. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm keeping it for myself anyway, so... Yeah, I love that. So that is everything that I would like to share with you all today. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite item or favorite items I shared in this haul. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. The link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.